today we'll be looking at how you can create courses in Aurelia and Musician. Before we start, courses integrate drills, lessons, library drills and tests into a sequence of tasks for the student. They are a great way for students to be guided through the software while learning and practicing. Teachers use courses in many different ways. Introducing new material, formal assessment, and of course, revision and reinforcement. A key feature of courses is the ability to set thresholds that must be achieved before a student can move to the next entry. Aurelia and Musician include many courses. Courses for band and jazz, and of course, general ear training and music theory. These courses will take students through nearly all the content that Aurelia and Musician have to offer. It's now possible for teachers to create courses, ensuring that their students are focused on content that is relevant to their curriculum. Creating a course is very similar to creating a test, albeit with more content options. In this video, we'll cover the five entry types display text, level drill, library drill, lesson, and test. Choose courses on the main screen and we'll create a simple theory course one. Enter the name and description for your course. There are a number of options, but again, these are very similar to the options in a test. Now, choose the Entries button, and we'll create a new entry. Courses are often structured with a welcome message, followed by alternating lessons and drills, and may finish with a test. Let's get started and create our welcome message. We'll use the Display Text option. Simply type some text into the box. This entry type is often used for student directions and also additional tuition material. We'll now add some lessons. These entries allow you to show any of the included lessons to your students. Once you select a lesson, the description appears and it's very simple to preview the lesson to ensure the content is appropriate for your students. Now we'll add a level drill using the beaming topic. Level drills use randomly selected questions from any syllabus and topic, including levels that you may have created in your own syllabus. We choose the syllabus, topic, level, number of questions and number of marks for the entry. Notice the level description. This provides more detail about content as you browse the topics and levels. Also, when you are choosing a syllabus for any of your entries, if you have created your own syllabus, that will also appear. It's absolutely fine to mix and match content from multiple syllabuses. Our next entry will be a library drill. We'll give this a title, set three questions to be asked, and then we'll select our questions. The library has hundreds and hundreds of questions. You can browse through, but it's a lot simpler to search. Let's find questions relating to ties. 
we've chosen our three questions and have added them to our list. Note that you don't have to rely on the question descriptions. You can preview a question by using the play button. Now that we have our two drill entries, we'll look at the question thresholds. Percentage thresholds give you enormous control over how a student progresses through your course, allowing you to easily create hurdle requirements. Press set to see these options. This drill is set up so that if a student scores less than 50%, they can repeat the drill, but can't move to the next entry. If they score higher than 75%, they can continue or repeat the drill if they would like more practice. If they score between these two levels, then they can only repeat the drill. Teachers often include a test at the end of their course. You can select from any of the included tests or Choose a test that you have created. You'll notice that the test entries can have a percentage threshold and you may also allow students to bypass this after a certain number of attempts. If you are wanting to use the test scores for formal assessment, we do recommend that you run the test separately from outside the course. This simply makes it easier to run reports. Now that we've added all of our entries, let's assign our new course to some of our students. Select the classes that you wish to take this course. When the students next log in, your Theory Course 1 will be available. The time slot feature is absolutely invaluable when using cloud. It's very common to set a finishing time or due date for the task. This has two benefits. It keeps students focused and importantly, it means that once the finishing time has passed, the teacher can run reports knowing that no more results can be added. If you would like to preview the course, Simply select the play button. Now that the course has been assigned, it appears in the student task list on their home screen. In this case, due to the time slot setting, it appears as a priority task. The student simply selects start to begin the course. That completes our tutorial on courses. Please make sure that you've also watched the tests video, which covers the options and drill entries in more detail. Thanks for watching.